Now there is few steps you have to follow. If you miss one of the steps, the bike uh, won't start. Hi guys, welcome back to Mini Bike Store video blog. In today's video, I'm gonna show you step by step how to properly start the dirt bike DS67 from Nitro Motors. This is one of the smallest dirt bikes with 49cc two stroke engine with standard carburetor. So, in the previous video, I did show you how to properly assemble the bike and how to prepare this bike for the first start. And today, uh, I will give you full instruction how to step by step start the bike. The dirt bike comes with a 49cc two-stroke engine, so you need to mix the petrol with oil in the ratio 25 to 1. With the bike you will get the mixing bottle, so I'll show you now how to prepare the fuel in the mixing bottle. First, you have to prepare the fuel, you have to mix the two-stroke oil for motorbikes with uh, unladed petrol. With the bike you will receive the mixing bottle. When you look close to the mixing bottle on one side it will say 1 to 40 and the other side it will say 1 to 25. So you have to use the side with the signs for mixing 1 to 25. So when you look close you have two lines, the bottom line and the top line. You have to fill the petrol up to the bottom line and then fill the oil up to the top line. So I have the bottle filled with petrol up to the bottom line and now just add oil up to the top line. Next close the bottle and shake it well. So now the fuel is ready, you can put that fuel into the tank. So when you have the fuel ready, you can put the fuel into the tank. Don't put the whole bottle of it, put approximately half of the bottle, just in case of any leaks. Now there is few steps you have to follow. If you missed one of the steps, the bike uh, won't start. So make sure you follow all the steps. First put the key into ignition. Ignition is located just here. So put the key into it and turn it to right, that's on now. On the left hand side on the handlebars we have the kill switch, this is a kill switch, so make sure to place the kill switch well in position, like this. Here it's off switch, so you can press it and make sure it's not stuck inside, here it's working properly. This white plastic here is a petrol tap, so turn it to on, like this, up and down, this is an on position. From the box the bike will come with the petrol tap in on position, so you don't have to touch it, but just make sure the petrol tap is in this position, up and down, this is on position. Next to the petrol tap it's a choke lever, so pull the choke lever all the way up and leave it up. So now the bike is ready for its first start. We have added the properly mixed fuel, uh, we have the petrol tap open, we have the choke in up position, uh, we have the key on, we have the kill switch placed on and we have checked the off switch and now we can start the bike. To start the bike put your right knee on the seat to hold the bike, your left hand on the throttle and pull it. This is an easy pull start, you don't have to pull aggressive, you just pull gently till the bike starts. You may need to twist at the same time the throttle a little bit while you're pulling. When you hear that the bike starts, you need to pull the choke all the way back down. So now pull the choke lever all the way back down, like this. And in this position the choke has to be when you use the bike. So now you can start the bike again. We have now started the bike with the choke in the down position and now we need to adduce the engine idle speed. The screw to adduce the engine idle speed is just on the left hand side on the carburetor. Uh, it's hard to see it. Uh, so you need to put the screwdriver under the gear on the bottom. And then when you turn it into the left it will lower the 
idle speed and when you turn it to the right it will higher the idle speed. The idle speed of the engine has to be as low as possible. So turn it to left and start it again. So we have adjusted the idle speed of the engine. It's very hard to show you on this bike, but I will uh, put some video, short video of how to adjust the engine from the other bikes. On the left hand side on the carburetor, you will see screw with the spring on it. That's where you lower the engine idle speed. So now we can start the engine again. The idle speed of the engine is still a little bit too high, so I'll adjust it again. So I have adjusted the idle speed again. So it's very important that you properly adjust the engine idle speed after you start the bike for the first time. Otherwise you may damage your clutch. If the idle speed of the engine is too high, the clutch will be in the half open position and will burn out very quick. Next you should properly brake in the engine. You can start the bike and leave it running for a few minutes, 15 minutes. And then for the next three to four tanks you should go very easy on the bike. Make sure the engine properly brakes in. So this is the procedure how you start the uh, 49cc dirt bike DS67 from Nitro Motors. In the next video we're gonna do a review of this bike. We will also have the boy riding the bike. So uh, subscribe to our channel and if you like the bike you can purchase it from our website. The link to our shop is in the description. Thanks guys for watching and see you in the next video.